Hello again, Internet, and welcome to another soda documentary. Lemon Lime Sodas. Everywhere you go, you'll most likely see this popular soda flavor. The most popular are Sprite, Sierra Mist, and 7-Up. But it is now time to learn of a lesser-known soda, Bubble Up. Now, Bubble Up is almost 100 years old, so we have a lot to learn. Let's just say this episode will be very sublime. Still not funny, huh? Okay, on to the history of Bubble Up. Bubble Up began in 1919, originally owned by Sweet Valley Products of Ohio. Bubble Up was produced 10 years prior to its well-known competitor, 7-Up. The first trademark registration was filed on August 13, 1919, with a registration date of April 14, 1921. The brand was owned by Bubble Up Company Incorporated of Chicago, with the tagline, A Kiss of Lemon, A Kiss of Lime. Bubble Up was distributed in Coca-Cola bottle networks prior to Sprite. In the 1960s, Bubble Up radio advertising used a catchy jingle, Sugar-Free Bubble Up has a pizzazz. That is what Sugar-Free Bubble Up has. The Monarch Beverage Company of Atlanta purchased Bubble Up in 1978. In 2007, Bubble Up was purchased from Monarch by Hedinger Brands LLC for the US, Canada, and Mexico, and licensed to Dad's Root Beer Company LLC. The Dad's Root Beer Company headquarters is located in Jasper, Indiana. For a soda this old, there must be a lot of pop culture with the soda. Young actor David Caruso was in a Bubble Up commercial in 1980. Also in the 80s, country singer Merle Haggard referenced Bubble Up in his 1981 hit song Rainbow Stew. Singer and actress Arena Grande featured Bubble Up in the video for her cover of Die in Your Arms. Bubble Up is featured in the 1965 film The Family Jewels as Jerry Lewis gets a six pack of it when he's taking care of a gas station. Bubble Up is also referenced in the very popular Game Grumps episode, Cool Spot. You know what the best uh, lemon lime drink is, though? What's that? Bubble Up. Bubble Up? What the Have hell is that? Have you ever had it? No! It's, it's a, it's a semi-obscure It's uh, pretty soda. damn obscure, dude. Yeah. I drank with, a lot of soda in my life. Made with real lemon lime oils and cane sugar. Oh, damn. What? So Bubble Up is popular, so its flavors must be popular as well. Let's find out. Hi guys, it's Tyler from Big Overview again, and uh, Steven is joining us with my brother Philly. So everyone, uh, here's a soda that, uh, I, when I first thought, I thought it, they copied 7-Up, honestly, Bubble Up. But then I, the information, you watching your documentary here, I found a 7-Up copy, copied Bubble Up. This is an older soda than 7-Up, and honestly surprised me. So here's a smaller soda that's owned by my favorite group here, Dad's Old Fashioned Group Beer Company. So, which is Trent 7 I can smell a light lemon lime, but very light. I almost it, don't smell it. If it makes sense, it smells like clarity. Clarity, okay. Well, anyway. And not not clarity is in a thing. Like, it just smells clear. And I, that reminds me of the old 7-Up commercial. It's like, they had that guy and he's like, this is the cold bean. But this is the lemon lime bean. He shows lemon limes. It's like, it's a clean soda. Because it's clear. Okay, so I'll start. Um, I really enjoy this, honestly. Uh, again, they're so made with cane sugar, and I think because of the cane sugar, it really brings out the flavors of the lemon lime. It's uh, it's very, it has a nice tartness, uh, very nice fruity tartness as well, but it's just really nice and sweet to me. But again, it does have that bitter tartness, but very small amount, and I think, I just think it's a nice, fair, nice lemon lime flavor, and honestly, I think this is honestly better than 7-Up in my opinion, that, that that's just how I feel about that, it's very nice flavor. You Steven? Uh, I do definitely feel the tartness which is a, a little weird because I feel like lemon and lime are supposed to have more of a tang to them rather than sweetness. Not to say I do not like it though. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it has less carbonation than 7-Up, which is sort of 
easy on my mouth and on my tongue and whatnot. So I like that about it. Um, overall, it's pretty tasty. I have, I have no, com I really have no complaints. Just the observation that I expected it to be tangy. Uh, Billy, um, you know, I'm actually gonna have to disagree with you on this. I, I, I yeah. I, I, it's not, I not, it's not that I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I did like it. It's just I, I didn't feel the tartness in it. Oh, okay. Um, and, and to be honest with you, I, I, I think uh, uh, Sprite is a better option. Okay. <laughs> Bully, don't, so, don't be afraid to show your opinion. Oh no, it, it's just I, I, I just I, I don't hate it, but I, I would still <laughs> drink Sprite over it. Okay. So great. Right? Sierra Mist. I'd probably drink Sierra Mist over it as well. Okay. So, rating out of 10? Um, I'm going to have to go with a 6.5. Okay. Steven? I'm going to go a 7.5. Okay. Like I said, I, I, I actually really like Bubble Up. I've had it something before this review, and I really do like it. I do like it more than 7 Up. And uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5, honestly, out of 10. I really have enjoyed Bubble Up. But well, this just shows that there's different opinions, so. Bubble Up is a nice, lightly carbonated lemon-lime drink that tastes good, and all of us generally enjoyed it. And I ended up enjoying it more than the others. As the soda began to grow on me, I decided to change my rating from an 8.5 to a 9.5. I have to agree with Aaron from Game Grumps, as this may be one of the best lemon-lime sodas. It may even be my new favorite lemon-lime soda. Even though we didn't all have the same opinions, I always say try a new drink and see if you enjoy this hidden gem of a drink. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Tyler from The Big R View. Please like us on Facebook or follow our Twitter. And please subscribe to keep updated with our videos.